get right back to it here. Damn, that is a sweet bird, you might say. Wow. All right. Uh, I believe the one in charge of this ramshackle uh, little little group would be Laura. That is the one who is kind of looking at everybody and uh, kind of directing directing the insults at uh, Bill and Larry, and pretty much trying to trying to keep them from from talking as much as they can. Uh, before I had everyone make perception checks and stuff. Uh, that was to kind of see what was in the room, but I was not fully prepared at the time to put everything in the room. Uh, so, there was also a, a perception check that uh, Echo and Jeb failed coming down the stairs, uh, which actually worked out. But now that Jeb is standing right the hell there, uh, you notice <clears throat> there is a rifle on the table, as well as a radio, a pretty uh, high-tech one. It's it's got it's got some some range. Uh, anyone with some anyone with communications at all would know that that's a pretty good radio. Uh, the only other thing is that it's got uh, a blinking red light on it. And then uh, let's see, Terrence, you uh, also noticed that uh, whenever Larry Larry did talk a little bit last time. Uh, you, you think you recognize Larry. You're not sure where, but you think you do. Other than that, uh, not much else has changed. They still have that massive-ass generator in the corner that is way overpowered for this house. And like, super poorly wired. Yep. Or that, super unsafely wired. That as well. And, uh... Okay, uh, Justin said his computer is crapping out. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. So, might be in and out. Uh, he said he said to start without him, uh, but, so, I'm sure he'll be around. It's just, like, smoking a little bit. It's right, fine. right. <laughs> <laughs> it might, it, it might start firing off shrapnel here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Backfiring like a car engine somehow. <laughs> I don't know if PC can make those sounds. <laughs> I found a way. Inter <laughs> internal combustion uh, yep. hard drive. Yep. Okay. So, uh, whoever wants to kind of uh, start, it is. Uh, oh yeah, James, uh, you were up. Are you still kind of upstairs walking around, or are you just kind of looking out? What are you? What are you up to up there? Um, I am kind of looking around. Um, now that it sounds like things are um, working themselves out, uh, I'll be moving kind of downstairs with, our, with the rest of the group. It seems less likely there will be a firefight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Smart, smart. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so you say you guys have... Uh, this is Laura, then. There was a firefight. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. So you say you guys have a uh, part of a group then? I think that's the last thing. You weren't telling a lot. You weren't you weren't saying yeah. the whole story. You were just saying that you were helping people where you could. And that you have like some supplies. Yeah, I think Echo steps up and Tuna. Kind of initiates conversation and goes yeah, we've got a group of sorts, you know, looking for survivors, looking for supplies. Obviously, there's strength in numbers, and uh, based on y'all's setup here and how we found y'all outside, I wouldn't say you're necessarily safe. I mean, we took care of a number of things before getting in here. Yeah, I mean, we try to keep a pretty low profile. I told I told these idiots that the Music was getting a little loud. It was only a matter of time. Down the street, saw a guy through a window who could probably punch a hole through your wall. Not to mention the fact that uh, that, that generator back there, uh, well, if, if the, the zombies don't get you, then you're going to set this place on fire and be buried in 
flame and rubble. In a matter of days, that that's a uh, got bare copper wire running next to carpet, and there's a lot of voltage going through that. So uh, I think it's unsafe, and I came I come from a house where we store the explosives in the kitchen cabinet next to the, the, all the pots and pans. So it, it's fine. There's there's fail safes on there. If too much voltage gets gets put out it shuts off those 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 AI guys I, those, they know what they're doing well that does not look like a professional job just saying well I rigged it up the best I could and it works yeah, pretty nope. good job too yeah mm -hmm. no one's died yet except for the that's the key except that's for the, the ones that we wanted we fried a couple of zombies all and, I'm saying is that you, you you know, you're looking at a house fire in your future. If you don't want to burn the house down, you want to insulate those wires at least. Maybe uh, look... don't put them so close to each other. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe if we end up working together, you can show me what you're talking about. What kind oh, of things uh... would make y'all obliged to work with us? Uh, then Bill again says, well, that would be, that would be up to the boss. And Laura just kind of like, oh, wait, just someone saying something? I can kind of hear in the back. Oh, it's my background noise. Oh, gotcha. My bad. I wasn't sure if it was like, um, Justin just kind of used robot voicing. Okay. So. Laura is like, eh, we don't, we don't really have a boss. Bill doesn't really know what he's talking about. We, we're just out, in the, out on our own for the most part. We do run into people, and we make deals from time to time. But we don't have a group. But Terrence speaks up. And goes, but doesn't everybody really have a boss? There's always a boss somewhere, even if we're our own boss, man. And... All right, with that, uh, Larry is like, Yeah, see, I told you we should just go out and do our own thing. Fuck, uh, oh, what's his name? Fuck Marsh. Then. Marsh. Laura is kind of pissed at that. Shut the fuck up, Larry. Uh, if anyone wants to do the common knowledge or the I can't remember is it rumors. Let me look. I need to find my sheet that has all the skills. Traveler. That's it. Survival traveler. To know who Marsh is. Um. Okay, I'll go for a roll. Ooh. Parents has a 16. Uh, so yeah. Marsh. Oh, yeah. So, those ones got it. Uh, Marsh is one of the, uh, big wigs. Or, he, he, he runs the Dockers. And that's the kind of the asshole group. They're not the thieves, but they're the they're the assholes that are keeping the keeping the docks and then any boats and any of that stuff in there. Not really great to work with. Well I agree. Fuck Marsh. I hear he's a tool. <laughs> yeah. Larry. Don't let him hear you say that. He'll bust your toe. Just for show. How long do you think this is going to be a viable place for you to be? Uh, just Aren't nearly enough booby traps up in the top floor. That's yeah. Why Even if you've got people coming in here and supporting you, how long are, how long do you think you're going to be able to to be here and make it uh, and make it uh, feasible living living conditions? Then. Well, it's never the uh, it's never the plan to stay here forever. This has only been our third, fourth day here. It just seems we got a little comfy. And 
There was some shit going on outside. I don't know if any of you heard any of the uh, explosions uh, a couple days ago. Uh, and there's uh, uh, then now there's that groaning going on. We just we just figured we would just hang out here till the fridge went dry. Hmm. Uh, I'm a trained medic. Uh, can I take a look at you and see how you're doing? Hmm. What'll that cost us? Uh, this is just goodwill, my friend. I took a Hippocratic oath. I can't leave anybody. I can't have anybody not in good shape, especially if you're going to stay here. I mean, medically, my advice is whoever you're working with left you in a untenable position, uh, deep in hostile areas. Uh, what we're offering you is we're offering you a, a narco-sociological collective uh, wherein each uh, person... Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, they're all like kind of looking at each other, like, "What is that?" <laughs> no, no. What do you guys? What? Here, no. What? Let's. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Ah. Uh, well, narco sociological. That's where you just uh, get together and do a bunch of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill, like, well, I. I, I, I did get a little bit of an electrical burn met setting that up, if, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally safe, huh? It, it is now. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll walk over and take a look at all three of them, if they're, if they're gonna let me. Yeah, uh, he kind of scoots his chair back. It's on his, it's on his, like, pretty much his whole forearm. It kind of went up kind of kind of bad <laughs> kind of bad all right let's see we'll do uh what a first aid try yep. and uh a administer some health here yep that would work right. just okay. a first aid check Fourteen. Yep. All right. So not bad. Uh, you get a little bit of, uh, you know, anti-burn cream and put it on there and gauze and bandage it, bandage it up. And I believe that's one use of a med kit. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, oh, that feels much better. Uh, if you'd want to make a perception or other or another first aid to like check kind of stealthy the rest of him uh yeah I can, I'll do a perception tactics yep okay oh Ooh. Jesus this is not gonna be a good rolling day so there I was elbow deep in rectum <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got, got Nate. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're pretty. You start to like uh, obviously check other stuff, like his leg and whatnot, and like, hey, hey, I, I saw. <laughs> I'm, I'm all, I'm all good. It was just, just the one burn. All right, bud. All right. You do look a little malnourished. Oh, I'm just sick of eating all them food tubes. Wish I had a yeah. damn steak. Shut it. Yeah. I believe it. Uh, you see that there's like, um, on that back, on this back wall, there's a shitload of, uh, supplies and things like food and water and like they can, they can stay here for a while, it seems. Um, and then, uh, Jeb, you, you see that, that, uh, that radio yeah, I'm probably kind of eyeing that up as, yep. we're, as we're talking. Yep, that thing, that thing is like, I don't know how much you know about communications, but it looks like someone what skill is, is that? someone. Oh, what'd you say? What skill is that? That would be tools tech. Okay, I am not trained. In. Okay, 
So it looks like there's activity on it. Like stuff's happening. Like the the red light is blinking, and then there's like a secondary light that looks like it's just kind of on, like constant. I'm gonna point out. It says this is what she used to talk to Marsh. Uh, Laura, kind of. Laura stands up. Hey, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't, don't mess with that. That's, uh, that's a special frequency that only we're supposed to know or use. It seems like there's a lot going on on your special frequency. Huh? And she kind of runs over. Oh, shit. I think at this point, Echo immediately steps in between. Okay. And kind of puts a hand up and says, I said slow movements, didn't I? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, uh. He really hates it when when he's kept waiting, if that's him. Like, it's... I really don't want to piss him off. Honestly, we've been on his shit list, and we don't want to... Uh. You don't want to answer. Maybe you're dead. Yeah, but then that makes a bunch of different problems. Can I just... Does it? <laughs> what? I said, does it? <laughs> or would your problems go away? Mm. Well, see. Uh, all right, uh, roll. Let's see, what is it? If you want, you can roll mouth or leader. Whoever's talking with these people. Can I assist? Yep. Yeah, I think Echo's probably leading, but... Do I just roll to assist? Yep. Edge, so. Okay. Uh, uh, it's 17. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Unfortunate. Girl, uh, holy cow. <laughs> yeah. Rough. Shooting, good rolls, shooting only. Right, right. <laughs> you are the Schuster. That's uh, it, apparently. <laughs> so, um,. Look, if we had if we had more time to talk, I might explain the whole damn situation. But right now, I need to answer that. So she just kind of starts to move past you. Okay. It's, it's up to you what you want to do. <laughs> I think I take a step back, but I say, why don't you let us listen in? Uh, all right. And she just kind of hits the button and holds the. Holds the kind of receiver up so everyone can hear. Uh, okay, hold on. I need a sheet to make sure I'm getting names right. Okay. All right, so she answers. Uh, hello, hey, how's it? Yep, this is, this is uh, uh, this is Team Six. Uh, she's like kind of looks around. She doesn't want to even say that it seems. Or uh, Scout, Scout Team Six. Uh, hey, hey, Laura, baby, how you doing? Good to hear you. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hi, Dom. How's it, how's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. Good to hear you're still alive. Are those shits still with you? And they kind of, eh. Uh, that's too bad. Anyway. You guys got that, uh, theorem that we sent you out looking for? No, not, no, we haven't, we haven't found it yet. We've been we've been looking through these houses, uh, through the lead you gave us. Uh, we we we've been we've been every day looking looking in a new one. Hard to hard to hard to get out. It's lots of zombies. Lots of the lots of them around here. Uh, a couple of those a couple of those big ones you're talking about. Uh, well, just throw Bill in front. 
have have him eat him while you get while you're getting away. We need that serum. Boss is getting pretty antsy. Says uh, a couple of more days and I'll have to send help to make to expedite the situation. And uh, she's kind of. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll find it. We're good. We you don't you don't need to send anybody. Uh, I think I think I even I think I even heard some of those guys uh, cruising by. So I think I think it's safe. All right. Just uh, radio in if you need any help there, sweet cheeks. You know I'm always here for you. I I know I know. Thanks. Think thanks, Dom. We we got it. Oh yeah, yeah. One last thing. Uh Yeah, I got um I got shit in the way. Oh yeah, Larry. Tell Larry If I catch him sneaking any more at my goddamn drugs, I'm gonna break his knees. Okay, okay, yep, he knows, he knows. Alright. See you later. And then it's off. Yeah, sounds like a good batch of leadership right there. Hey. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <clears throat> when everything went to shit, we. Everyone had to kind of. No one got to pick who they survived with. And what's stopping you now? That help they're talking about. That's just straight up killers. That will come out, find us, take what we have, regardless if it's what we were sent to get. And then just cut ties. Sounds like we're giving you a pretty good deal about coming with us. Now doesn't. Uh, yeah. yeah, well... Hmm. Can I attempt to roll mouth on that? Yep. Also, um, you definitely know where you know Larry from now. <laughs> he's he's in yeah, most drug buddies. What? Most likely drug buddies. Yep. You you've ran into him around. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I do not roll mouth on that well. I <laughs> rolled an eight. It's so, gonna be one of those nights, guys. <laughs> I mean, no offense, but you guys don't seem like you're in any position better than than we are. Well, on the contrary, uh, we are currently, uh, you might say, somewhat employed by a group of people who are both capable and do not threaten to break our knees, which, in my mind, is much better situation as I personally I'm not a fan of having my limbs mangled under any circumstance but especially when I need them <laughs> Larry's like that sounds pretty good honestly you guys got drugs I just point <laughs> hey, <Larry>. at Terrence <laughs> uh, we, we may not have a, what you call steady supply of drugs but we do have some of this, and I'll pull out the the little bottle with the last of the uh, Sod Special Brew. Oh, that's like, some good shit. You come with us, you can earn this on the regular, and I toss it to him. Ooh, shine? I don't usually dabble. Let's see. This is more than shine, my friend. It is enlightenment. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. And like, well, Laura kind of looks over, like, "Don't do it." We're just... Oh fuck! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's got a kick. Well, I never liked any of those guys. You got, you got my vote, but my vote doesn't count. Just, just saying. You do seem like you have something of a non-democratic system going on for this organization. <laughs> well. I owe my life to, to Laura, so I'm gonna do what she says. Sorry guys. She says try and try and fight our way out. 
I'm gonna throw my body here at the closest person and slather them in drug-fueled theory. I think I look at Laura at this point and go, think about this seriously. What are your chances in finding what they're asking for and not having this help arrive? Versus taking some dead zombie bodies we got, dragging them on in here, making it look like a scene, and coming with us, and you never have to leave. You can stay and work inside all day long, and they'll never know. Uh, okay, more. I need, I need no more uh, mouth mouth rolls. If anyone oh boy. wants to okay. assist. Because you've all been talking at this point. Yeah. Uh, we'll Ladies, gentlemen, and that colorful rainbow in between, welcome to Devacac's channel. Back to action. It's morphin' time. Uh, no. I assist with a 21. Nice. Damn. <laughs> and I got a 12. That's fine. It's way better than before. Oh, yeah. Terrence only got <laughs> an whatever uh, assist. Terrence got an 11. Oh, okay. So Terrence didn't really help. He's just, you're just kind of doing, you're talking, to, you're, you're helping by talking to Larry. <laughs> you, you're pretty much keeping him occupied and out of the conversation. Um, so, she kind of looks at you guys and says that, well, it's not that simple. Uh, I think we're being sent out to find some sort of cure, if it if it even exists. Uh, he says we'll know it when we see it, kind of thing. And there's supposed to be some goddamn hidden scientist bunker guy. Like apparently he lived. Someone who used to work for AIE lives out here, and we're trying to find it. We figured this was a good place to start. Well, not start. We this is like the third house we've been in, and. Uh, we, we, we ended up here, and like I said, the explosions, some sort of monster outside, we just decided to stay here. And, uh, it's only a matter of time, we can only lie to, to Dom and Marsh for so long. Now the reason I can't just leave is I have a son at the docks, and Bill has his wife. If we just leave, that's that, that we're abandoning them. And if we come back empty-handed, more more problems. Family always make things more complicated. Yeah, and kind of the only thing keeping me on such a long leash is fucking Dom is sweet on me, but I don't know how long that'll last. Especially after, you know, can only they know for so long before he just has has enough in this world anyway. Uh, yeah, I didn't. It's like I said, complicated. Uh, I I don't I don't know how to get out of it other than find this goddamn thing or something that looks passable. At least I can say, hey, this is it. And if it's not, that's not our problem. We found what we thought he's looking for. You guys have any idea what a zombie cure looks like? Well, I have no idea. One. <laughs> but, well, maybe the doc has some idea. You know about serums and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've heard rumors, but that's all I've ever heard was rumors. It's kind of like the Maltese Falcon. I mean, everybody talks about a zombie cure, but, you know, it, it, there's a million different, there's a million different things that, uh, that it could be. It, it, uh, if I told you anything more than that, I'd be lying. <laughs> yeah, what kind I've of got an idea. What kind of information did they give you when they sent you out here? They must not have just sent you out here to look for a vile marked zombie serum. Like, just like kinda, what the fuck? 
they just kind of show you a picture. He drew this and said, here, it'll look like this. Uh, that's what Bill kind of pulls out. It's basically just a, uh, like a biohazard yellow case that has AIE on it. And, you know, it just kind of a very generic thing. Like, if it's going to be in anything, it'll be in this. So we're basically looking for this, this case. And hopefully there'll be a serum that is unidentifiable inside of it. Let me ask you a question, friend. Uh, if you don't come back, um, are they gonna are they gonna harm your loved ones? Not so much, but they'll definitely take advantage of the situation. The they won't be shown any sort of special treatment anymore. They'll kind of go into the uh, the extra mouths to feed category and they don't do so well they don't have the best of uh, life over at the docks don't have someone supporting them then no extra bag yeah yeah, yeah they Absolutely. become they become a burden and they don't like burdens so it's not so much harm just decline in lifestyle, er, life, uh, you know, life. <laughs> well, I have what I think may be a potential compromise. Now, all this you have here is quite good. Our people could use all this stuff. And to be honest, you're not really using it the best that it could be used, especially that thing that went over. <laughs> and you need this serum to get back to your uh, your group. And that's all you really need, right? Right. To do the mission. Right. So let's say we help you look around for this. Not committing to anything here, just throwing it out there. We help you look around for this serum and find it. It's all yours. And uh, you just leave this stuff here for us. Stuff that you don't need to get back, honestly. All right. James is going to do a couple of uh, subtle hand gestures. And then uh, maybe, you know, you get back to the doctors and... Uh, you ever see us again? Remember. Uh, Bill's like, hey, I, I, I like it. I mean, I hate to give up this place, but I, I do, I do miss Mary. I, uh, we should get back. Sorry, what are you doing? What's James doing? Uh, James needs to talk to the group. Group huddle signal? Yeah. Oh, uh, not not in earshot of these people. Yep. Laura kind of does the same. She's like, "Yeah, we'll 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 talk it over." Uh, if you All know, right. You know, if you if you if you are doing that as well. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you kind of hear like you know, um, they, they they're just doing the 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 generic. What do you think? I I don't know. It's, it's one of the best deals we're probably going to get out here, and you know, and that that fades away if you guys go upstairs. Yeah, so. I think we go back upstairs for sure. Okay, so you can just kind of move over to the right side a little bit. I think. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say I think Echo looks at the group and is kind of like, "Y'all, we cannot let the Dockers have this." Thank you. We can't let them have a serum. We can't let them have this equipment. We're going to need to take a serious look at what this is. I mean... Oh, yeah, I was thinking uh, if we find this serum, presumably there's more than one. We just uh, give them one, take one. Well, if there's a lab, I'm sure Doc can make something up that at least looks the same color. Oh, yeah. That can be passing, and we can take those serums and give them a false phone, and 
I also think, depending on y'all's position, that we give them a set of coordinates. Not to, but close to, home. And we tell them if they ever get a chance to grab their loved ones and run, that we'll make a pit stop every so often and send someone out to go scout and pick them up. Maybe there's a third option. Maybe. You just throwing it out there? <laughs> Maybe we ought to slit their motherfucking throats. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> Damn. I'm mean, gonna get a drink. <laughs> what are you talking about? That? I mean, that's always an option. Uh, personally, I look at the three of them and, uh,. I don't think we'll have too much trouble from unless we uh, initiate it. They're they're not here to kill people. I met plenty of people who uh, have no problem with shooting their neighbor, but uh, these folks don't seem like killers to me. Seen far too many civilian casualties in my time. And I don't want to see any more lives go to waste. Yeah, but those food tubes and that generator, they could go a long way and do a lot of good for a lot more people. But Doc so might the mole who knows they have a friend on the outside. True, connections are important. I feel fairly confident that if we play our cards right, we can uh, get out of this situation with both of them. We send them on their way, get them what they want. All this is uh, ours to take. I guess we need to start house hunting. I, uh, we should I got make sure a, they're on the same page before we start. I got a couple of syringes here that would make it nice and quick and quiet and peaceful. Damn. Doc, when did you get a murder history? You killed a man, Doc? You think that I haven't seen death here? You think no, that I, I, I haven't mean, seen... There's, there's a difference. Have you ever killed a man? You think that I haven't had to put people down that have looked at me that knew they were going to turn into zombies that <laughs> begged me to end their life so that they didn't end up biting somebody or shambling around like a ever killed the fucking rag doll? For their life instead of for their death. There's a difference. Is there now? Because I'm not looking at the one person or the three people that are standing downstairs. I'm looking at the tens, the fifty the people that are back at the uh, that are back at the group that need warmth, that need food. I'm looking at these shelves filled with supplies that these three people are getting fat off of. That we're that we're going out to the golf course to try and find whatever meds and things that we can fucking scrounge off the ground. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about those people back there that I've sworn an oath to, that I would help, that I would protect. These people we've known eight minutes. Talk to me about that. I'm not saying that you're in the wrong. I'm just saying, if that's what you're proposing, better back it up with actions. If I need to kill somebody to make sure that 15 people live, you don't think that that's a decision I've made before? Mm -hmm. And I'll make it again. That's what I was asking. As it stands, I don't think that that kind of decision is necessary here. Terrence is a ride or die kind of guy, so he's like, I'll back whatever play you make, and he very quietly cocked his gun. <laughs> oh god. I 
think we need to look at this at a tactical standpoint. And it all comes down to a basic pros and cons. Pro, we get a mole inside the dockers that could potentially give us information that they don't want us to know. Hell, we've already gotten the information that there's a serum out here that none of us knew about. Pro, these people can go back to their family and possibly get out together one day and we can rescue them then. Con, they could potentially turn and tell the Dockers that we know this information and now we have targets on our back. So it's really a matter of do we trust these people or not. There's also the quid pro quo. What if they want information from us and are thinking the same thing? Are we willing to be the moles or the dockers? Over, as Doc so politely put it, people we've known for eight minutes. Love these people are. don't seem especially loyal to their employers. I doubt like something that, like that would be valued, valuable to them. I gotta say, I think the only thing holding them to the Dockers is their family members. Well, whatever you guys decide, I'm not a weeder here. Why don't we play this smart and play it safe? We know this location. It's close to home. We can use this as a rendezvous point should they ever get out. But I don't think that killing them is going to benefit us in any way because they are going to see that these were human kills, not zombie kills. And who's the closest to this location? It's us. It's gonna get narrowed down real quick if anybody's smart enough to do it. The last thing we want is to turn the Dockers completely against us. Right now it's a mutual, I don't mess with you, you don't mess with me. And we need to not jeopardize that for all of the people that we love and trust back home. I think that, that would be a dumber mistake. Then we've decided. Let's see if the folks downstairs have decided the same thing. So yeah, as you guys were, were talking, you heard the conversation down there pretty much uh, getting like normal, normal voices, getting louder, getting softer, then some yelling, you know, like, I ain't, oh, you know, who is it? I ain't leaving my damn wife. I don't care. I don't care how much shit they got and how many guns or how many people, you know, you just hear little crescendos and then... <laughs> That stuff. Uh, uh, but then, you know, after a while, they if you guys are done talking, you just kind of wait for them and they're kind of done talking. And it's like, well, whatever, you... You, you tell them then, Laura. That kind of thing. So. Uh, I think... I think we're good. Mm -hmm. If you guys are done... I yeah. think so. Uh, you want us to come okay. up there? Yeah, why not? Alright. <laughs> so yeah, that's the... There we go. The way they kind of come out. All right. So, ah, uh, sounds like sounds like it's a good deal. Everything you're saying, everything that we could kind of want is is to get out of the Doctor's grip. 
But we want, we need our families. Or we need, you know. Larry here is just, he goes with, he goes with the flow. If he ends up having to stay behind, he doesn't even care. He's fine. But. Ah. Uh, Bill and I, we're not, we're not leaving the dockers without, without our, without our family. So with that, we have a proposition. What's that? Sorry. If, oh, I said with that, we have a proposition. If you agree to share the information that you have and to gather all the information you can get when you go back. We will help you look for the serum. And we can rendezvous back here and give you what you need to get back to your family safely. But at the same time frame, remember this location. Because should you ever get out, we can come back for you. And we can help you. But I would never ask you to leave your families. All right. The only thing is, we did tell him we found a decent amount of supplies, so we're probably gonna need to take some, some stuff. Just tell him that zombies overran your position. He had to leave most of it behind. All right. All right. We are only three. Carry people. most of this. Yep. All right. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be able to bring the generator back anyway, so you guys can have at it. Uh, oh, spying on the dockers. That could be dangerous. Uh, is where I leave the decision to you. So, uh, what, what would happen if we needed, uh, we needed a quick escape with, and just, you know, could we, could we kind of get protection from, from your group? Well, we have vehicles. Do you think there... you would be able to escape with a radio? One of those kind? Just a basic radio. Oh, yeah. I mean, we actually have a couple for just talking to each other. Then... Frequency 4 is an empty channel for us. Okay. He writes that down on like a little little scrap, those are, you know, like a little tiny piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And we will monitor it every once in a while. And we will never say anything, but if we hear anything, we'll know that this is the place to be. I mean, it sounds sounds okay. Hmm. The only thing. Uh, how? So when when we get back, he's gonna. We're. If it doesn't work, we're gonna get sent out again. And if it doesn't work really badly, like you know, let's say. It, kills him then things could just this whole plan could go could go awry the world we live in everything can go awry in the blink of an eye plans are for fools but we plan anyway we try and see what happens ah <sighs> no you're right all right, all right. You know what? I'm. I just. I've been looking for an out. This is. This is it. We're, we're gonna throw in. I'm gonna throw in with you lot, and hope this isn't the worst decision. But so far, not, none of this shit's been easy. So if any, if any sort of break happens out of this, it's 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 worth it. All right. Let me. What? Let me. What do you? What do you? What do you need to know? I don't know much. Like we're we're one of six scouting teams. We're the last one that they picked up, uh, or that they turned into a scout team. They pretty much 
uh, ran through all the all the extras, all the mouths to feed, and started kind of culling the herd and saying, if anyone wants, uh, you know, to uh, continue to get food and rations and whatnot, that we need to provide services, you know, some anything, anything useful. Uh, so a few of us volunteered and now we're we're out we're scout team six looking for uh the mysterious serum and whatever else we can find anything you know about the dockers operation system their scouting whereabouts of the other teams or any secret plans that they have would be quite useful information well it seems that they're Pretty much hoarding all their gas and all their all their stuff, waiting for boats, waiting for things. Like I think they're supposed to be involved in that that big uh, uh, that that big failsafe thing with the with the center of the island with the amusement park. But uh, it seems they just kind of keep slacking and and passing the buck. I like, give like you know that we don't need to deal with it. That's for everyone else to deal with. That, that's what that's a march usually says and he's like he, he always kind of says I dare anyone to complain about it so uh as like I don't know if they're gonna hold to their to their end of that deal when when shit comes up uh they're pretty much one step away from just kind of from, from being total anarchy where they just kind of take what they want and do what they want it's pretty it's getting pretty rough and I think the less like the, the 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 more the more they have less as, as time goes on as as the days go on where they're not getting any supplies in where they're not, they we're not getting any results it's just going to get worse they're going to start taking from the mouths that need protecting and it's the the the, the management is just going to is going to go to to chaos i can i can see it let me ask you a question my friend what would be the what would be stopping you to from going back, saying that you couldn't find anything, and grabbing your loved ones and leaving? Uh, well, the area is pretty heavily zombie ridden. Uh, they I think they do that on purpose. They let a lot roam through because the only ones that can really protect themselves are the scout teams and anyone useful. They're, they have guards, so it's like if you can make it out, you're pretty much you're, you're naked and afraid. You don't you don't last. We've we've had people leave. They pretty much say, yeah, leave if you if you don't want to help. And they don't they don't make it very far. We don't hear about them. And the ones it's I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to take my son through there through the through the shit. And but wouldn't it be better for him to see some shit and get out and have a better life? If we were in that chaos state we're, we're leading to, yes. At the moment, since we're a scout team, he gets, like I said, special treatment, rations, all that kind of stuff. Um... If if the things were to change, my my desperation might change, and I might see the outside as a more viable option. Well, let me tell you, my friend, when you're desperate, that's the worst time for you to be making decisions, especially life decisions. You need to be making those decisions proactively. Now, if you were thinking that you went back with or without the serum, per probably, preferably without the serum, then maybe there would be a way that we could get somebody over there to help you and whoever else wanted to leave to get through the zombie chaos. Um, Bill kind of perks up at that, and Laura does a little bit too. You guys have those kind of resources? That kind of manpower it's it's horrible up there the only reason why the dockers even are able to survive is just because of the fortified marina 
it's hard for zombies to get in, but outside their little gated area, it's it's bad. Well, you made it down here. How did how did you make it down here? We were armed. I mean, they pretty much they clear the way a little bit, a little bit of heavy machine gun fire, open up the trail, yeah. then we smash through with a with a car. We lost our car about two days ago. Uh, you lost it because of gas, or you lost it because it wasn't functioning anymore? Eh, pretty much it doesn't. They give you beaters and expect you to come home with something better. And now that we are a scout team, we're a little bit more ingrained. They won't just let us go because we know some things. The only, the only place we really... If we go back and we say we're done, we pretty much just get thrown into the... into the mouse to feed category and we don't get let out again. Unless it's naked and afraid. Not... You know what I mean. We don't, we don't get stripped down. We just... Here's a boot knife, maybe. Have at it. There, no one survives that. If you could help us get out, there's I know there's people that want out. And we'd be willing to or I me and Bill, we'd be willing to give you what you need. You can take as much as from this place, uh and we can give you a small uh like route that we, that, that, that we use and some other scout parties use to get to the Dockers. It's not safe, but it's safe-ish. Other than that, we don't know too much. Marsh is looking for a serum for something. I think we don't know if it's to uh, save someone or just protocol or, bar or trade power. He's always talking about deals with the AIE, like that's his that's his trump card. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna find out something, get a hold of somebody, and make a deal for everyone to get off the island. I don't know. It's half the time he doesn't he doesn't really make sense, but everyone over there is scared of him. Like a desperate man with a desperate plea. Just using force and fear to control. And if our party has to be the one to come and get y'all, I won't speak for the rest of my group, but I'll speak for myself and say I'll be there. Oh. Thank you. I mean that's that's more than anyone else has done around here. Uh, if, if it happens and, and we all make it out, I mean, I'll be indebted. I mean, you can, you can tell us what you need done and we'll do it happily. Uh, I guess until that happens, though, what, what, else, what else do you need? Well, I think first things first, this is all, uh, these are all plans for the distant future. Right, right. None of this is none of none of this what is going to be easy. Right now is to find the serum, and then we'll decide what gets done with it. Right. Uh, all right. Yeah, that seems if if rumor is true and there is some around here, it seems as I could be worth retrieving. Oh, your your thing is done. Yeah, you're done. Oh now, yeah. Do you have? As you I said, said you searched three houses. Yeah, we uh, we we checked a couple of the bombed out ones, and then one down the way. Uh, we were making. Uh, yep, uh, basically. The one we went by. Or um, no, the they, that's the one they were heading to. They, we were heading down that way. Uh, we were stuck. We were on that road, and uh, we came down the the main. There's another road that connects a dirt road, so we were just coming down that. And uh, we were gonna make a big loop. This uh, this road does a big box, so you're gonna make a loop, and this is where we kind of hunkered down. So we have. I'm trying to let's see if I zoom out. 
they have oh yeah okay so they came from the north there's a house uh, up north that is bombed out they check that and then there's another one also up north that is bombed out so they checked those two and then they started coming down here and this is the first one they meant they got to before they bunkered down so they've only been here so uh, this in one, this in this, this woods one. areas for uh for a couple days scouting and they've been sitting in this house for a couple days so they didn't get much work done they've just been kind of lying about what they've been doing to, to marsh Well, this changes everything. We need to go back to... We need to go back to the base. And let them know about this. On the radio? The radio, yeah. the generator, oh, the supply. Or like the radio that we have to communicate with base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can even just tell them that there's a, a good house yeah. with a ton of resources in it no they'll send someone to come pick it up the other thing that we could do and this is directed at the the dockers um is you know we've got a lot of people at the base that are a hell of a lot smarter than we are um if you wanted to talk to them about what kind of options we would have for for maybe even you know, get in a box with some yellow paint and sending you home with something. Mm -hmm. um, that way, you could meet the people at the base and get a feel for for the way that we the way that we're surviving together. Uh, yeah, that, that that might work. Bill Bill says, I mean, like I said, we don't we don't know what we're looking for. It's just a. Just a case with a serum that, I mean, I doubt it's going to say zombie cure on it. Right. Uh, right. And we've got a lot more resources back there than we have here. Uh, uh, uh. So, I think Echo looks at them and says, so if we call in for a pickup, you'll allow our people in here to gather all the supplies. And obviously we'll leave you with your small arms so that you can protect yourselves on your way back. But outside of that, the rest can go. And I will talk to my people about bringing in a case. Hmm. And then we'll meet up? And with the case? They can bring the case directly to you. Oh, I mean from out... Okay, like they'll bring it out here. Okay. Mm. Uh, ooh. That might work. You think you... Hmm. Yeah, if you guys could... If you guys could do it, uh, that'd be... That might just be an easy way to... To get back. I mean, it's going to take us a couple days to get back anyway. Yeah, that would... I think if... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're like kind of like looking like this might be like just like no way. Could, could this be that easy? <laughs> 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 Alright, All right. sounds like a plan. I, I think Got radio... Or er, radio. I think echo... Um, radios in and explains the situation and asks if old sod or possibly roger or kelly have access to a case like this or uh, or something close to guy. mr x yeah mr. and x. then if mr x can come okay, up with a concoction yeah. and place it in the case i believe in medical terms is called a placebo Uh, holy shit! Yeah, that's that's amazing. If you guys can can get all that done, all right. So then, uh, you go through a lot of a lot of uh, radio 
people. Like, you're talking to, like, three different people. Like, the, the it's getting like, a what? Then all of a sudden it gets to Mr. X, and it's like, what did you want? I'm hearing a lot of stuff. You said you want a zombie cure? I want a, air quote, zombie cure. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. I get it. Do you want it to do anything? Maybe some kind of medicinal healing property. Something that'll make it look like it's working at first. How about a mixture of amphetamines and ketamine? <laughs> and a little bit of fentanyl. All right, let me get the doctor involved in this. And he means that the one back at base. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we can do it. And then, then you hear him, you fucking owe me, Carol. This is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, it's a fun project. Yeah. Have a good night. Uh, so then Carol's like, uh, how much of like the situation did you explain? Like, just like, I mean, like Marsh, like the, like the whole Marsh not, not doing his side of the deal and that kind of stuff. I'm just wondering like how, how much you went into things. Everything. I yeah. We need to help her everything. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the only way this plan's gonna work. Okay. Skip the whole, the whole explanation. Yep. All right. So she is pissed, and uh, you can actually hear her talking to um oh the other guy in charge. God damn it. I don't have enough. I don't have enough counter space or death space for all these all these notes I need. Uh, <laughs> Bartholomew, you hear you hear her shouting at him. God damn it, I told you that fucker couldn't be trusted. I knew it. I knew he was just gonna backstab us right in the ass. Ah. Oh. You, you're the one that. Don't you tell me to calm down, Bart. He's. You're the one that always said he would be fine, that he'd be reasonable, that he knew we were all in it together. That fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, no, we can do it. Yeah, this is. If we can. Then, then, then he's. Then now they're talking to you again. Yeah, we can set this up. We'll, we'll, we're, we're gonna do what we can to help these people out, get them out of that fucking place. And if we get actual information about what's going on up in that fuck fest of a place that they got up there, then all the better. <laughs> Copy that. Just remember, the less we know, the less suspicious all of us are. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll send. Uh, yeah, uh, keep this open. Uh, we'll send fucking security. Okay, Nick, Martin, and I will send the doctor out there as well. If you if you think you need it for anything. All we need from Doc is that serum. All right, so you don't need him out there for it. All right, then we'll just send the security guys. Perfect. Perfect. All right, that's a hell of a haul. Thank you very much. This will go a long way. Uh, feel free to re-up, get your ammo set, get whatever you need, take take from the take from the cash, and uh, good work. God damn. Thank you, and copy that. Uh, should be about an hour. Roger. They're just, they're just jumping in a truck and driving here like right away, but. They gotta go slow because it's cautious zombie town. Gotta get oh, this yeah. Shit yep. All right. Uh, at this point, I think. Oh, were you in earshot of that? For them, like, did they hear that on the radio? All right, real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I am too sick to keep playing. I gotta tap out. I hear Don't you, worry. Man. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep Don't playing with me. Yeah, I hope you feel better. Appreciate it. Keep playing without me. Kick ass in my name. My parents live on. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see. You, we'll yeah. see you next time. Feel better. This kind of works out because Terrence can head back with them if need be. Oh yep, yep, that works. But, but Terrence uh, is like going down. Mhm. Mm yeah. He's falling down from the drug high. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I would say that. Echo kind of like walked over here so they could hear some of the conversation, but maybe not like 
like kind of like they could hear what I was saying, but maybe not yeah. what was being said. Sounds good. I got gotcha. you. All right, so, uh, so yep, they'll be here in an hour. You guys can kind of do what you want, look through the loot, and take what you want if you if you need if you need things, or if you um, want to talk more about what's going on with these guys. Well, I assume that we're going to continue what we were doing. Yeah. We still have to get uh, uh, the golf course. Yep. However. But now we know that they were looking for this serum somewhere around here. Maybe that, yeah, maybe nice that needs to take a little bit of priority. Something we shouldn't decide. Yeah, uh, I definitely think we should... Veer course at least slightly, and like check out maybe some of these easier houses on our way. And if we need to like, on the way back, hit some harder ones, do it that way. Cause whatever we find at the golf course, we can still radio in and call another truck out to get the haul. True, true. doesn't hurt to uh, look through some of these houses on our way as you now that we know that there could be something quite valuable in them. Agreed. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of weapons do they have available? Oh, uh, there is a few things. Uh, let's see. Back down in the basement, there are I'm just going to uh, show what's in these in these things so if you hover over the um the shelves in the basement it'll show what's in them Plenty of stuff. A bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds. How would you say we are doing on rations right now? Like, have we... How much time has elapsed? Oh, just for you guys or for the, yeah. uh, for the station? For us. I mean, it's only been half a day, not even. A few hours. Okay. Like, the morning. Um, it's been the morning. And it's like afternoonish. Alright. I would definitely say Echo grabs boots and a backpack, the rifle ammo, and then it takes the rations and water and puts it in the pack for all of us. Just like a... And then looks at Jeb and Doc and says, you know, what else do you think we need? I'm gonna take that, one of them multi-tools, just for future use, so those seem pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab that, that pistol. Maybe that hatchet, I could throw that at some point. Yep, that is a throwable for sure. So right. I'll, I'll take the hatchet. And then I, we could maybe take some of those meds. I don't know. Leave yeah. that the, the dock to the side. I'll probably grab a couple of them, but most of those need to go back to. Yeah, yeah. probably more useful back. Uh, if you want to make a uh, science lab roll uh, on that abilifier to know what it is. Okay. Goldfish, I like that name. Oh, it's goldish, isn't it? Yeah, goldish. Oh, so I thought gold you said gold. Okay, I, I I thought it was goldfish. Yep, that's gold what I thought. I, I heard you say. I got uh, I got a twelve on that one. Okay, uh, no, it's a little outside your 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 purview. You need a little more um um research on, or like schooling on this stuff. Nice. You were never well, you, you never. 
you were never much for the Abilifier uh, chemistry yeah. stuff. You're just you're just normal normal first aid guy. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh, I almost forgot. Bill. Uh, he gives. He hands out this uh, sheet to whoever Jeb or or Echo, whoever wants to. Um, take it. But you'll. All, I'm gonna give it to you. He's like, here's a. Here's a thing that uh, we were given by uh, by Dom before we left. Uh, so it should be it should pop up in the handouts tab, uh, which is. Uh, up by the in the roll 20 there's a chat up at the top and then two over there's a handouts tab and it should have popped up where it says zombos by marsh okay. these uh these are some of the reports we've heard and they've they've had this is this is a shit that we have to deal with up there we I, we haven't seen all these, all these things, but we definitely heard of the of, of the boys up there fighting them. I don't know if I don't know if this helps. He is a he is a poet, that's for sure. It's a very consistent name and convention. Like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I Good I shit. went with it. I I usually, I've seen some of the fast fuckers. Uh, we saw a couple on our way here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fucking fast fuckers, all right. <laughs> yeah, they, we. I think they 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 ran out of landmines a while ago. They said not. It's not worth it. A little bit. Uh, Have we had reports of any of these? Strong springs. We can make something. Uh, which ones? Unauthorized. Any of them? Any of them? Have we had reports of any of these that, uh, that uh, the f- our groups have run into? The first three. Okay. These other the la- the the last two are new. <laughs> so uh, seeing seeing the the description of those two are kind of th- that's new. Fucking huge fuckers. Yeah, I guess they're like supposed to be like nine feet tall or something. I don't know. I the guys who shoot them are always embellishing. You should have seen this thing flipping cars, throwing helicopter. I mean, there's no way. <laughs> I just look at Echo and say, "You ever seen something like that?" Not in my time. Uh, this is... So if we don't. I think Echo, uh, steps back over here and just pops over one more radio, um, back to home base, not the scout team, and lets them know about these, these last two. (laughs) Let's get it on! What? What do you mean? Knife arm fucker, what do you mean? All I'm saying is it sounds like they've got swords for arms and not something we want to mess with. Jesus Christ, just when you thought the apocalypse was done throwing shit at you, more hits the fan. Oh, um, all right, I guess let us know if you see anything and, uh, I guess the big ones to fuck. I don't even want to know what the hell those are all about. Keep your eyes peeled. Update when you can. I'll let the uh, I'll let security know, and the other scouts. Thanks. Copy that. Shit. And then you like as you can. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Okay, uh, I think at this point, Echo pulls Jeb and Doc aside and says, we've got an hour. 
to scout before we got to meet back up with them. Do we run a ro do we want to run just us or bring them along with us? Oh, how keen are they on that? Well, I want to discuss with y'all before I discuss with them. What's your read? You're a you're a military woman. Uh, what's your read on their capabilities? I would definitely say that Larry seems a little less capable than Terrence. Bill. You could might roll. Be you, you could roll leader or distance. Okay. That was the one who shocked himself, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Lucky. Said leader Wait. or distance? Yep. Just, for, I mean, distance would be their combat prowess, and then leader would be just their overall how they could handle themselves. All right. I'm going to look for their combat prowess. That's a dirty 20. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I need to get back over to the chat. All right, so uh, you did distance, sorry? Yes. Okay. Uh, basically, they are all, if you were to match them up, you to Laura, Jeb to Bill, Larry to Terrence, they're just like one lower than you guys. Okay. Like, I mean, I know you're all you're like level one, but it's just like they're just, their skills are. One power level. Yeah. Gotcha. So you could take them in a fight, but they've been surviving out here. So it's not like they can't handle themselves. I think there's power in numbers, and they've got a little more knowledge on what we are looking for. But I want to know y'all's opinions. Don't matter to me. They want to come, they can come. Or firepower is better. As long as they don't do something stupid, I think they're up for it. My other fear is leaving them here with a working radio. And heaven forbid, they're not being truthful about wanting out. Well, if, any, if anyone wants to um, roll yeah, mouth or perception or a little bit of uh, group dynamic stuff to kind of tell, because there, there, there is something there, but it's how you perceive it. I'll roll. I'll roll uh, perception. Same. 22. All right. 22. Another dirty 20. Yep. So you guys... Uh, definitely, definitely see apprehension, uh, in, in, in this switch. It's like they're, they, the Laura and Bill are afraid to lose what they have. Larry is very apathetic to the situation. He doesn't seem to really care one way or the other. Like when, uh, when Laura says shit, he, um, he just, he just does it, you know? And like, and like he says, uh, or, and, and, and he said that he owes Laura his life, so he'll pretty much do whatever. The only anomaly is like Dom and what he might do to track down Laura. Uh, and then uh, you also notice that Larry has been fumbling with something a little bit, uh, kind of in in his, uh, the perception, the perception people got noticed that Larry has been kind of hanging back and doing his own thing and fumbling with something in his gear. Uh, the mouth, that was, uh, Ben, you were pretty much, like I said, the, you noticed all the apprehension and that stuff, but you also noticed that Larry is still being shifty. Even though he says that he's going to follow Laura, something's up. So you didn't notice him fucking with stuff, but you notice him being a little shifty and not really staying, not really being part of the conversation. It's like the whole, I'm not a leader is more so, so he doesn't have to 
have to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll bring him to keep an eye on him. So I relay that. Do we confront him, though? Good. Uh oh man. Druggies. <laughs> how am I gonna how am I gonna play this? Uh I'm gonna be like, uh this was Larry or this was Bill. Larry. Uh, Larry Larry's the fidgety one and somewhat shifty. Yeah. And you know he's gonna, gonna fucking with something in his gear. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna like put my arm around him and take him off to the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh So I mean I'm okay, gonna... so, so hold on. So like you are you guys are having that conversation. So you break away when, when you get to the, the Larry part of the conversation? Yes. Okay. So yeah, when when you kinda do stuff, you just kinda kinda no, uh, you know, mention that you're gonna you're gonna okay. go do the thing when we're okay. talking like discussing things. Okay, uh, so I am gonna, I am gonna, like nod, a slight nod, to uh, Echo, and um, and um, I got this kind Jeb. of Jeb, <laughs> yeah, and Jeb, and I'm gonna kind of put my arm around Larry, and I'm gonna bring him over to the couch. <laughs> okay, I got him. And okay, He's and like, hey uh, man, you got any drugs? You're a doctor, uh, right? Uh, yeah, I totally do. What do you, uh, what do you need, bud? Oh, man. As this is going down, I think Echo's gonna slink over and check out that bag. Oh, his gear bag? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's it, it's like, it's on his shoulder. Oh, it's on his shoulder? Yeah, okay. yeah, because like, he, he was pretty much still, like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, doing his thing. It looks like, like when you approached him, he, like, you know, quickly shut something off or did something and hey man, you got any drugs? <laughs> and then the conversation. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh what do you need, man? What's your what's your choice? What's your favor? Oh, I mean if you got if you if you got if you got the uh the S the S Coke, I love it. I need a pick me up. All this all this tense talking is bringing me down. Yeah. Um I like hold up. What is it? Is it a vial? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You you had like doses, so it'd be like yeah. little little whatever. I'll I'll hold up a dose and okay. uh, like like just out of his reach. Yep. And uh, I'm like, what if uh, what do you got going on, man? Oh wow, you even got the little medical wrapped seal packages. Those things are awesome. Fuck yeah, you know I've got the good stuff. Yeah. So he like he just tries to go to reach for it, you know, like it like like he would. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of just push him back a little bit, oh. and, uh, what's, uh, what's going on, Larry? Well, what do you mean? I'm just, just hanging out, waiting, waiting for the pickup. Uh, That's cool, you, that you guys got parents, I didn't know that. I've seen him yeah. around. You, uh, Larry, you want this? Yeah, you got more? Yeah, I do. I got what you, I got all you need. Cool. But you gotta, you gotta tell me what's going on. With what? Apparently, you guys are gonna save us or something. Listen, I know junkies, right? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. I know junkies. <laughs> what's going on? If you want to see any of this, you're gonna have to talk to me, bud. I'm here to help, but I can't help you if you're not gonna talk to me. Well. These guys don't let me do a bunch of drugs all the time. They say it makes me unreliable. Okay, yeah. Well, you understand that's true, right? It's only if I'm on the wrong stuff, on the wrong times, okay. in the wrong combinations. Okay, you you know what your combinations are? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I need some of that. I totally understand that you need some of that, but uh, I'm not going to give you something that is going to be detrimental to you or everybody else right now right it'll, it'll make it'll make things better but 
I I think I know what you're asking about. Okay. You want to know what's in my bag? Yeah, I totally want to know what's in your bag. All right. I got to keep you and everybody here safe. That's my job as a doctor. Well, I'll tell what's you in something. your bag? I, I'm running low. And he like, kind of opens his bag up and he shows that he's got a bunch of like empty vials of drugs and this and that. He's got S coke, weed and heroin, all that shit. But it's yeah. it's pretty much gone. Yeah. He's and like, where'd you pick it where'd you pick this shit up? Everywhere. This is, yeah, this looks like this looks like fucking backdoor shit, man. This stuff is pro look at this. I, I like I'll hold something up and I'll be like, fuck, do you know how much this has been cut? <laughs> I can't believe that you're running at all on this, man. Well, it's see, it's the good, it's that, it's the S, it's the S stuff. You you can cut it like 30, 40 times before it loses anything. Oh man, where did you hear about that shit? It's that's uh, abs- what. Uh, what is it being? What is it being cut with? I don't know. It's it don't you, matter. You're absolutely you're absolutely right. You don't know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I I do know, and you don't want any of that shit in your body, man. What? Let me take a look. Let me take a look at what you got in here, and I'm gonna like. Okay. Go for the bag. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I heard it. Okay, so he kind of like, all right, man. Totally oblivious to kind of that he shouldn't let you look in his bag. Uh Uh Uh-huh. While, as soon as I take his bag, I'm going to give him the the dose. Oh, fuck. Nice. You're gone. (laughs) Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take a look inside the bag and see what uh, see what we've got going on in there. Yeah, man. Have, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. So oh, yeah, it is. It's a bunch of empty vials, a bunch of uh, um, like safety needles and shit. Like these are these are AIE medical decent things, but they've been overused and they're 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 bad. They're kind of grimy. They're not great. It's his drug bag. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that's all. That's all I'm seeing in there. Nothing else that we need to be worried about. As you, as you look a little deeper, uh, you find uh, a wooden box with a rubber band around it, and you hear uh, a little static inside. Uh-huh. So if you want to take that out or open it inside there, I'd like to open it inside there. Okay. So yeah, it's a little. A little wooden box, and inside is like, is like a lighter, some other stuff. But there is um, a little like pager type looking thing, and it seems that it's like got some static going on it, like just. I don't know if my game is picking that up, but it's just. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, long static, stop. Short static, stop, and it just repeats that. Uh, it. Th- do I know what it is? If you want to make a tools tech. Uh, yeah. Let me see what I've got for tools. Come on, dice! Don't fuck me over now. Or I'm gonna start using the IRL dice. Eleven. Uh, you think? Yeah, you think it's literally just like a mini radio or something, like meant for just very short range, something like that. It's hard to tell. Just you know, that's only by what it's doing, you know, just because it's emitting static. Um. So while he is on, there's a out, button. I'm gonna. There's two buttons on it. I'm gonna take that wooden box okay. and I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to Echo. Okay. He doesn't notice. Okay. And then I'm gonna give him back his bag. Okay. He doesn't notice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Zogged out. Um, so I'm going to kind of, like, go talk to Echo and Jeb and, uh, like, show them what it is away from Laura and Bill. But kind of be like, you guys... Oh, like, in here somewhere? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys can go in the kitchen, whatever. Yeah. They're, they're hanging out. They're probably downstairs getting a couple of things themselves. Okay. I'll 
kind of show him no do either one of you do either one of you know what this is is uh Give a look. echo that is a beacon it is not functioning right now something's that might have been what he was trying to do was use it turn it on but it he failed <laughs> it's it is a beacon though like basically a gps beacon but right now it's just not working it's not sending signal but that's probably because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing uh so i uh i'm gonna look at jeb and i'm gonna look at echo and i'm gonna be like so do we bring bill and laura in on this Might not be a bad idea if uh, old uh, Larry over there is gonna rat them out as soon as they get back. I'm fine. I'm be good for anything. Yeah. Yeah, I um, don't want to see their families go down. Yeah. Accidents happen all the time, especially with junkies. That's the truth. <laughs> I think we're about to have a Breaking Bad scene up coming up. <laughs> I think I see where this is going. <laughs> I have to go pee though. Be right back. Uh. <laughs> and Echo doesn't like any of this. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> By the way, that's a beautiful blanket. You look so warm and comfy. Thank you. It's got little sheep on it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. I mean, what are y'all thinking? Think of confronting them on this? Well, well, do we confront or do we inform? That's the biggest question. Yeah. Um, well, I think that we should go and see what kind of reaction we get. If we okay. get a, if we get a, what the fuck is that kind of reaction? Yeah. If we get a, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a whole different credit. Watch the, uh, watch the faces. Yeah. Okay. So, I think... Uh, I think Echo's gonna take the little transponder and approach Bill and Laura. And you do know how and it works. Um, just all you have to do is hold both buttons, and it and it uh, pinpoints on your signal, and then it just. That's it. Then, so it's like he didn't. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but he wasn't doing it right. <laughs> okay. Um. And all I do is I hold it up and say, "What is this?" They kind of look at it, at it, at each other. I don't know. One of his fucking junky toys. You can read it. You can read it if you want. Yep, uh, that'd be leader or I think, which one? No, perception. One of them is a lie telling machine. I gotta look at my skills thing. All right, skills, skills. Sorry, I meant to have this out too. Like I said, I don't have enough counter space. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, yeah. So mouth is. How to tell a lie. You can use perception as well, but mouth is the better one. Okay. Hey, right, I'll roll. 16. Ooh, yeah. Jeb knows a lot better than I do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Through facial expressions and all that, it seems they were not in on that thing. They, they don't know what the fuck that is. They didn't know we had it. And they're not just like, really, really sure what it what it is. I'll just like make brief eye contact with that, but I'm just like nod like seems legit. 
He's always picking up random little... shit. He's trying to smoke or turn into a pipe or... Echo looks at them and says, This is a beacon. This is what gets your family killed. What gets you killed. And oh. your buddy over there was trying to turn it on. Holy shit. Like, to tell him where we were? Exactly where, 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 where you are. Oh. That junkie Bill. That junkie son of a bitch. I'm gonna fucking bash his head in. Laura's looks just really like disappointed, like just you know sad, like she, like he would do that to like she saved his life. That you know, son of a bitch. Uh, like what the f what? Thought I could trust him. Like he pledged his whole, he pledged like you should have seen this shit down on his knees, crying, pledging his life and shit. Ah, <sighs> like I mean he's met my kid. It's like he knows. He knows what is at stake here. And yeah. this is your buddy. How do you want to handle it? Because I know how Doc wants to handle it. Uh, Bill's like, I know how I want to fucking handle it. And he go he starts to like storm over there, it looks like. So if anyone's gonna, gonna if anyone's yeah, gonna like, stop him. In the way. Okay. So yeah, he, Bill goes on over and uh, he takes out um his Fucking, uh, what does he have? I wrote down what he's got. Oh, yeah. I gotta open, I gotta open up his stuff. I gotta open him up. So he takes out his claw hammer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and, uh, walks over there all pissed off and angry and smashes is, him in the leg. Is Echo gonna stop him? Oh, I thought you said I'm no. Gonna... Yeah, I'm Echo gonna... tried to get in the way. Oh, my bad. I, I thought you said you're just gonna let, let these guys do... Okay. No, no, no. Echo tries to get in the way. Okay, so yeah, he's like, what? I ain't gonna kill him. I'm just gonna give him a little love tap. Hold on, And you hold think on. that's gonna go well for any of us? I Somebody don't care. I don't up. think... I don't really care if he leaves this house now. Wait a second. Somebody higher up knows he has this, so if he's the only one that disappears, what is gonna happen yeah, yeah. to you and your family? Yeah, and he, exactly. And he throws... He just... He chucks the hammer into the kitchen. He's, he's just so pissed. <laughs> It's like, there, fine, dude. Cooler heads prevail. I get it. What are we going to do? Well, we've got I a couple say... of options. Like, let's think about this. The, the hammer crash kind of has Larry just, what? Are we under it? Zombies? No, we're solid, Larry. Take a snooze, brother. Take a knee. All right. He kicks his feet up and <laughs> turns, the, turns the TV on. Uh, so, from where I sit, there's about three ways that this can go down. One, um, super simple. Junkies have accidents. Two, also super simple. What if something happened and, uh, he, uh, met with a zombie somehow? That's a goddamn shame, but that happens all the time, too. And three, um, I don't know, maybe he's in a place that burns down. Super easy to, uh, super easy to call that in on the radio and let them know that there's been a terrible accident. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about this place. There's a lot of stuff in here that you should probably take. No, we we have to. We'd have to drag him some. Although, if we got everything out of this place and then it burned to the ground, uh, that would explain a lot for the doctors as well. They're not going to be looking for supplies or people or energy cores in a house that burned down due to faulty wiring. That's true. How bad do we need this generator, though? Uh, let's see. The... That's a pretty nice generator. Pretty nice generator that could cause an accident. Your power supply is okay. It says you still have five weeks left at the station. But the only thing I'm going to mention is if the dockers aren't pulling their weight, you will need more power 
need all the power we can get. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, we put it in the back of the truck. They we burn the building down. We burn the building down. When gotcha. the dockers, when the dockers show up, they're not like, "Hey, what happened to our generator?" They're like, "Oh fuck, everything's gone. It burned down." Right before we do it, you guys, we have them call. You guys call in. You go, "Hey man, just letting you know, some shit's going down here. The uh, fucking uh, place is on fire. We're getting out, and we're gonna try and make it back." Done and done. Man. This, this, this is. You guys have kind of pragmatic solutions for all sorts of shit. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, we do. All right, all right. Is he gonna be in the fire? That's up to you. Oh, all right. I mean, I've known him for a while. He's not bad when he isn't strung out or making stupid decisions. He has come in handy. I don't know. What do you What do you think, Laura? It's he's more your friend than mine. I don't. Hey, can't it's so goddamn much to deal with. It was so sim it was so simple five minutes ago. Why did he have to be? Why Why does he have to be like this? Ah, fuck. Maybe. Maybe it's a maybe it's something they have on him. Maybe it's a like a like a threat. Like a maybe they're making him do it because of because of something. I don't know. Is your man up to you ultimately? But Bill is like, I think he's just a druggie, and they promised him drugs. That like, was the first thing he asked me for. It was, it was pretty easy for for uh, Doc over here to manipulate, to be honest. That's probably like, what happened to him at Doctor's then. Taking candy from a baby. It's probably what... Damn it. Then he's... These... It's too unreliable. There's no way we could trust him again. Hey. Here's another option. Hmm. I'm all ears. No, that's all right. Uh, why don't you guys uh, go down and, and uh, take care of all of the things that you uh, need to take care of? You gonna take care of things up here? That's what I do. I take care of things. All right, they look at each other and they're just kind of like... He's... He's trying to get us killed. Yeah. Alright. All right. No, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'm just going to take him for a walk. We're going to get a little bit of air, sober him up a little bit. Yeah, I'll they, talk to him about his choices. Yeah, they head downstairs. <laughs> Great. They, they, like I said, they, they shrug at each other and just yeah. kind of like, fuck it. I'm going to cook up a hot shot. All right. Uh, and, uh, si uh, yeah. do you have what? Like, do you have the specialties to like just do that once a day, or is that? Well, let me see what I've got. Is that the is that the the lab doctor that can do that? I have done. Well, what do I need? Um, life. Okay, science, life doctor. science. What would life science do for me? That would. It comes under knowledge, not under rules. That's, yeah, life science is chemistry, so that would do it. All right, I can roll for life science if you want me to. Yep. Let's see what I got in here. To make a concoction of death. It's a little something to take the edge off. Yeah. Oh, nope, that was not right. Well, since... I mean... That, it's 17 plus 6. Okay, point. honestly, even if you... You can't... But you can't fail a poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put enough shit together, it'll eventually get there. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> just keep putting stuff in a syringe. It's pretty much how uh, painful it'll be. Uh, and I, w I don't want it to be painful. Okay, but so I'm yeah, gonna... you, do, you do well on that aspect. Yeah, I'm going to look at Jeb and Echo, and I'm going to be like, I don't know if you guys want to. Like, maybe you should go grab some stuff from there. Don't matter to me, Doc. I think I've seen worse. I'm going to shake. I'm going to walk over to Larry. Sit right. down on the couch next to him. Hey, man. That was really hey, good buddy. stuff. I uh, got even better if you want to give her a go. Holy shit. You got the H? I got the, I got the fucking H bomb, baby. Oh. Stuff's gonna blow your fucking mind. Fucking bring it on. I, uh, hand him the syringe. Oh, yeah. You're my kind of people. It's yeah, a shame. you know what? It's a shame what the doctors are gonna do to everybody eventually, though. Yeah, what are the doctors gonna do to everybody? Uh... You know, they're getting munitions, things, yeah. they're yeah. fortifying, yeah. making it so no one gets in. Eventually, they're going to just start pressing out, taking over. They want out, but I don't think they do. They like it here. Yeah. They like yeah. it in, they like it in charge. Yeah. I think you guys would fit in. Seem to get shit done. Yeah. Maybe you can yeah. join us. I think I think Marsh could have a good spot for you. Yeah, I think that uh, I wouldn't mind working for a fellow like that. Right under his boot, like the rest of us. He's pretty much. He's got a few right. more words in him if you want to try and get info. <laughs> when is this going to happen, buddy? Hmm? When is the... When are the dockers going to push out, man? Hmm. They said when they get it. When they... Yeah. When they get, when they get what they need. Yeah. It's all... Do you know over. what... Yeah, there we go. It's... <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yep. Sure did. Well, that's ominous. Yeah, we'd better push that along to the higher ups. Uh, unexpected, though. Yeah. I think that maybe uh, you should have a talk with Bill and Laura about maybe not going back to the dock. I don't think we're going to convince them of that. Well, somebody should have a talk with them. I'm gonna search. Uh, I'm gonna search Larry and see if he's got anything on him. Okay. I'm gonna well, while he's doing that. I just want to kind of like look out the windows of the place uh, since it's it's been a while. Yeah, you see what's going on around. out there. See if there's anything useful out there uh, up here as well. Okay. Bump, bump. This is what. Oh, whoops! Did that not go in very well? Weird. Uh, oh, I see. That was that was a uh, different that was different stuff. My bad. He's dead, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um. So you re you see him convulse a little bit at the end. And. Uh, you know, and as you start looting him, you see that he has a fusion core on him, and. It's wired to his heart. Oh. Huh. Some fucking mad scientist shit. Yeah, I'm gonna... Is this like anything I've ever seen before? No. Uh, this is pretty much a jerry-rigged, like, fail-safe for if he ODs. It didn't work. Your poison was too strong. Yeah, it's like a... Holy shit, yeah. Like a fucking drug defibrillator yep. kind of thing. Yep. Auto defib. Yep. God damn. Uh, so on him. Oh wait, my bad. Okay. So this this isn't supposed to be on him. He's got he's got that V grenade. It's it's a it's a grenade with a V on it. Echo. 
Echo would know what that is. <laughs> All that other stuff is um, actually not on him, but he does have a key. So a V grenade and a key. Yep. I mean, this is this is stuff that uh, uh, James found. Mm -hmm. uh, all but, of the stuff that you've got listed, I found. Yeah, yeah. So uh, okay, I'm just making notes. Yeah, since, since I since I um, kind of forgot my my little stuff, and you have carte blanche in this place, there is a lockbox in one of these. Um, Saw that. Yeah, that's what the key is for. Ah, uh, okay. Inside that lockbox is all these drugs. Ah, uh, okay. The stash. Yes. That's his drug stash that he really tries not to crack into. He had he actually had some good willpower. His backup. Yep. Um but yeah, like he so so you did see his, his auto defibrillator kick in, but it basically just tried to shock a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> um Oh, oh. and then there's also this pistol. Um, Echo, if you'd want to make a distance roll on it, because it's funky. Okay. Woof. Well. <laughs> what a fucking night we've had rolling. Ten total? Honestly, though. It was a 10 total? Yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. It's, that's good enough because it's a it's a pistol rigged up by someone who didn't really know what they were doing. It's... <laughs> think of, like, Fallout 3 when you get jury rigging and you just start using other weapons to fix weapons. Uh, so that's what this is. And uh, it is... Um, also got some sort of... Uh, incendiary round inside of it and it will explode the gun will explode if it's fired three times <laughs> in a row or just no right like <laughs> if, it, if, if he would have shot if you guys would have gotten into a firefight and he fired this gun three times it would have exploded in succession yeah. or just in <laughs> general in general you could fire it <laughs> once now, right. once tomorrow, yeah, and once next this week. This gun has three right. charges. So, uh, this is just the jankiest shit yeah. I've seen in a long time. God damn. Yep. I am going to cut the uh, fusion core out of his chest, though, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so you have, uh, it's pretty much still full. It It's like yeah. minus one little jolt, but... Not really enough to matter. Let's see. I've... I I have that. I have a fusion core statted out on the yeah. gear. But so if you need to use one for something, let me know. All right. Is this a large or a small fusion core? Small. Okay, thank you. So yeah, some some someone. Help this dude do some janky ass shit. Yeah. Uh. uh player to player, are you passing anything to Jabberai? Everything. Uh, hey, I wasn't sure if you guys heard what he was talking. About. Well, Jeb heard about it with the doc, with the, the uh, the dockers taking over and pushing out. Oh, as far as equipment or as far as information? Both. Uh, listen, I'm putting it all out there. If you guys see something that you need, that's, okay. I'm, not hold, I'm not holding anything back. Then can I know or roll to know what the grenade is about? It's a vortex grenade. Super fucking powerful. High, high military okay. grade, or high military grade grenade. And you want yeah. something fucking gone from can, uh, yep. can we can can I go down and talk to Laura and Bill or have them come up so that we could all talk to them? Yeah. And uh everyone's everyone's pretty much in the basement. You kinda went downstairs okay. with all the gear. 
And, well, okay. I mean, you found that key and knew there was a lockbox. Oh, yes. Okay. Did Laura and Bill know there was a lockbox? Yeah, they knew it was, um, they, they knew there was one, but they didn't know that the key was still around. Uh-huh. How much, how much did you know, how did you know Larry? How much did you know about Larry? Uh, so when all the shit went down and zombies started eating everybody, uh, we thought he was a zombie coming after us, but no, he was being chased by them. Uh, me and my me and my kid were hunkered down, uh, pretty much under some rubble, hiding, and I don't know if he saw us or what, but he it seemed like he was coming right for us. It was crazy, uh, but we ended up leaving our little hidey hole, running out. He said, "Hey, wait! I'm not one of them." I'm like, "Oh shit!" Uh, I happened to have a gun at the time, so I shot the couple that were chasing him, and he said, I know of a spot uh, that he, you know, like a drug den or something that he used to go to, and it's pretty pretty hard to get to and could be safe. So we, I saved his life from the pursuing zombies, and he saved our life by helping us get to that, that little drug den. Other than that, then we just kind of tooled around together until the dockers picked us up. And I met Bill at the Dockers. So Bill didn't know him for shit. Like, yeah, I just you, met that uh, fucker when he got when he came wandering in. Do you know uh how uh how in uh how in with the organization was he? Well, uh, I'm sorry, first of all. I need to let you know. Your friend had a terrible accident. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh at least one of us is, I guess. It breaks my heart when I have to tell people that. I'm sure. Uh, anyway. <laughs> did he ever mention anything about uh, Docker's plans going forward? He's he's always yeah. talking shit. He's like, we, the Do Marsh has got big plans, big plans for all of us. He'd say, like, we're gonna get off this island. Don't don't worry about it. I don't know. I, most of the time, I didn't pay attention to him. He seemed uh, like he knew what Marsh was doing, but I don't know if that was just to make himself seem more important. Uh -huh. But we didn't leave him behind, or what? Um, we were having a dis we were having a little discussion, um, as we were sitting there, and uh, he said that the Dockers. He said something along the lines of the Dockers. Maybe thinking about pushing out uh, and taking over the island. Does, is that anything that you've heard him say before? Uh, I mean, Laura's like, yeah. Bill was about to start going into like his crazy talk, but Laura's like, yeah, I've heard that. Uh -huh. Dom, Dom's been kind of, I think, talking where he shouldn't be. And he, he let it slip to me that they he's going to take care of me and my kid once everything happens. Uh -huh. I think that's what he meant by everything happening. Let's see. All uh, right. They have been pushing out a lot to the... Uh, <laughs> sorry, out uh, to the west. Uh, into that uh, Commerce Cove, into the big, into all the shops, into the Army Navy stores. They're trying to get any, anything, any, or uh, heavy defenses that they can. And they, they're saying it's, you know, to make sure we can survive and protect everyone until the boats come. It's, I think it's to take over. All right. Uh, they've been dealing a lot, like, trying to bully that other station over there, that West Station, trying to take what they can from them, and even even the scout parties, they listen in on the radio chatter. That's, that's, like, they're, like, doing shit like the Den does. So I don't know. If that's what they're doing, that sucks. They've got, they've got a decent amount of firepower. If you guys... It seems like you guys do too. Are you the 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 main station? The guys that started everything, like the whole the the group effort 
All that. You guys working with Carol? How do you know Carol? I've heard Marsh say that that bitch doesn't know what she's doing, gonna get us all killed, that kind of thing. Like we like the any time that they talk about who we're gonna have to worry about, it's always that southern state that out that, that main station run by Carol and some Bartholomew guy who's like half half crippled or something I don't know but that's who they're the most worried about so if it seems like you guys are confident so if you if you're working with them that might I might actually be like turn the tide yeah oh shit wow no I have, oh man I wish you would have known we would have we, this, we wanted to be with you guys from the start, or since we knew about it. Since we knew about that place. Yeah, the, so good to know. the central station is nothing like the dockers, nothing like the den. It's all about the prosperity of humanity in both the moral sense and the physical sense. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... That's ex that's what we heard. Is it so? It, it there actually are people that aren't complete lunatics just because of a few weeks of chaos and murder and zombies. I mean, exactly. I get it. Surprisingly enough, yeah. Oh. Oh, she kind of starts to like tear up a little bit that there might be a place for her her kid to be, and that isn't a terrible zombie hell. <laughs> And like, do you guys, like, are you, like, un I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm fishing for information, but are you protected enough where, where me and my boy don't have to, like, leave if we don't want to? You know what I mean? I like, definitely can definitely say there's enough work to go around inside the station. Oh, perfect, like, perfect. That's, that's what we were doing before, but they said it wasn't enough. We had to do more to get more. I, I, believe me, there's all the little, I, I can do whatever you want. Bill's like, yeah, I'm a mechanic. You got some rigs to need fixing? Plenty of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right, yeah, um, whatever you need. Uh, if you guys want to take that radio, you can. We might get in trouble more if we don't come back with it. That was one of the big things they said to not not leave behind. But you know, it's you. Now that we know, it's you can take it. Well, thank well, you. I, I think that there's still a way that that we can get you back uh, safely until we can get you out. Uh, I the plan's think the, the same. The plan is still the same. You just have to make sure that. So I, I have to tell you, uh, I don't know if going back to the Dockers is in your best interest. I understand. I understand. Maybe going back to the Dockers immediately isn't in your best interest. Um, I think that you're going to find that it's going to be very difficult for you if you were to go back right now. It, it's always difficult there. It's every day. Every day is knife's edge, whether we're going to live or die under Marsh's watch. But it's nothing new. I, mean, I, I got to get, I got to, I got to just keep acting like everything's fine. Dom, Dom will protect me until, you know, until we're gone. But I, I wanna, I want, I wanna get, I wanna get, get back and get, get, uh, Jonathan, get re get him settled, get him ready, get him ready for the escape. And if you guys would be willing, there's, I know a couple others that are able to escape. And when I say escape, like I said, we can leave, but it's just the, the getting out of the immediate danger zone is is so hard. Yeah. And then 
if we don't want to be just straight watched leaving, we'd have to go out a side entrance. Which I we we can find. There are places. It's not a hundred percent on lockdown watching all the time. Uh but we, we I have we I have to go back. At least within two days. I told them that we were we were going to be scouting these houses and we needed a, a, a couple more, you know, a little more time. They're only going to give us that one that one or two more days before they send the, the kill squad. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, and I don't want to I don't want to bring those guys down on you. If we're in the middle of uh, our deal. But I guess that beacon is how they would find us. So maybe they don't even know how to get to us now. Still be looking for you. Yeah, right. Might have to let some people know that there might be... I wonder if there's... a traitor in every scout party then. One, it very well could be. If one of, if one of every scout has that beacon... Damn. They're just expendable over there. Mm. People don't matter anymore. Yeah. Didn't take long. Well, if you can orchestrate an escape, all we ask, and safety first, is any information. And if you can nab one of those nice radios on your way out, then we'll have a way to spy on them and a way to to get some information that we don't normally have. All right. Yeah, like I said, uh, anything you need at the moment, like our cover is fine. Uh, anything that happened with Larry might be hard to like blow over, but he, I'm sure they knew he was... Uh, Possibly expendable at the same time, even though he was useful to them. Zuck found a lockbox and a key. So, you can take that lockbox with you and leave the key on his body and say, You found him and you found this. And I'm sure there's some plenty of empty vials in that bag of his that you can stack inside that box. That can be a concoction enough and an excuse enough for his death. All right. Yeah. No, it makes sense. I I never saw him sober, so. Okay. Okay. This this is all. It went. It went. It, it went from. It's a roller coaster right now. I don't even know what to. I don't even know what to do. But. I'm I'm sure forever. There's a lot going on. I'm forever grateful for you guys taking the. Taking the leap of faith. Thank you. Of course. Uh, oh my god. If we can make it there, this is... Like, like two weeks, you know, two weeks of just living under the... With, with, with uncertainty whether you're gonna die in the middle of the night or... Be... Be killed tomorrow for no reason. Like, that's... It's so hard to live like that. And then... Trying to... Oh, and she's just kind of like, oh, she, she just wants, she wants out of that life and she wants to be at that, at that, that's a station. She wants to be in the new, in the new society. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point with everything that's gone on, how close is that caravan? Well, it's as close as you want it to be. It can be here. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to wait for them to get here. Yep. Yeah. So. Maybe look through the place a little more. Okay, uh, so that that is a rifle too. Uh, if anyone wants the stats on that sucker. Um, other than that, it's a bunch of uh, a bunch of little stuff. Like you've already taken the loot you want, so they're gonna come through and strip this place clean, take power stuff, take components, take all sorts of things. And then you said you're gonna burn this place down or not? I guess we'll we'll see what happens. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, the so the only other thing that I really want to take from this place is just some like random junk. Okay. Uh, I want to look around and get some like um, some nice like uh, springs and, uh, and I don't know maybe some in like the door in the oven. Okay. Uh, or there was and he's got a bunch of that wiring too if you want that. Oh yeah, I'll probably take some of that. And um, a couple of, just like some random sort of scrap bits that might be useful. Okay. And uh, like scrap pieces bits. of uh, like small pieces of metal and stuff. No worries. Done and done. Easy enough to find around here. All right. And then uh are they going back with them? Or, uh, sorry, are you leaving it up to them that they want to come with you or not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me roll. Okay, Bill doesn't want to. He's like, I've had enough of this shit. Uh, but um, Laura is like, I don't know. It'd be, it might be better if we do go with, well, at least have descriptions of the houses. We can tell them what we didn't find. That kind of thing. It helps. Helps with Where the lie. Where you did find it. Right. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to leave you behind. I'll go where you go. Okay. So they'll pretty much tag along until, uh, until you guys call it. Until it's like back to the station. Cool. Alright. And then we go our separate ways. Yep. Alright, cool. Um, do we have to worry about any of these zombies out here? Oh, right, right. You uh, did as, see as them. The, uh... They're kind of just wandering now, because you guys did shut off the music and everything once you came into the basement. Yeah. That was the thing. It's like, oh, shit. Hi, guys. And then, you know, click. Music goes off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but these zombies got, like, kind of attracted. Us, but they're not They're not intent on the house. They're just around. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just... When, when our car comes. Is, oh, are we gonna have to deal with them? Uh, it's up to you. If you want to go, if you want to just meet. Oh, let's see. The highway, I guess, is kind of far. It's like fifty feet up there. So, yeah, they'll probably yeah, drive. We kind of cleared it, didn't we? Uh, you did. But uh, if you if you like look through the window and use your use your. Do you have a scope? I can't remember. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess it's hard to tell, but you did okay. do, you did fire a few gunshots. There might be some activity. It's hard to tell. Okay, then yeah, the closer road is easier. Uh, let's see now. Let me get let me get a car. I think they would they'll take. They come in the. They come in the taxi. <laughs> is it safe to say that Jeb has disarmed the front door as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so um they radio they radio ahead and they're like, Hey, uh we're out we're we're out front, down the way, in front of the tree house. We see a zombie outside. We'll take care of it. Uh, okay. Copy they, that. We'll gather the supplies. They pretty much drive up. The zombie wanders on over, and you tew, dead. Nice. But yeah, we're good with profession. Does that sound like a silencer shot to Echo? Yes. I know that it's more of a clap sound, but, you know. Mm -hmm. That was a silencer. I All think right. Echo pulls four rations aside. And as we carry the supplies out, 
tries to bargain with the person with the silencer. <laughs> I thought you bought one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a uh, Kevlar instead. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Who would have it? Um, I'll roll for it. That's fine. <laughs> um, so that would be... Oh, that'd be yeah, Martin. That would for sure be Martin. Uh, he's, okay. he's he's definitely the the pragmatic or like the practical one. He doesn't want he he doesn't go out loud. He wants to attract as least attention as possible. Uh, okay. Like what? What do you what do you mean? Bargain for my for my uh healthy bits. Hey man. We're the ones out here risking our lives trying to get y'all supplies, and we almost got downed by a runner because of my gunshot. You want us to get you more? It'd be a lot better for both of us if I had a silencer. Well, you should have thought about that when you were back at base. Ah. Yeah, Touché. yeah, whatever. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he gives you shit. The security guys always do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, see, so you needed us to come out and save the day again. <laughs> As usual, my mans. You guys ready to pick up some supplies and head on back? Yeah. How much you got? Carload? Should we have brought the Jeep? I think a taxi will do. All right. And then, like, do you load in the generator? Uh, yeah, that's definitely the first thing that goes. Okay. Holy shit, that's Wait. awesome. Do I have to roll anything to, to safely disassemble this? No, you can just power it down. Okay. So you shut it down, the whole, you know, the whole uh, house goes dark for a second. Yeah. The backup power, like, kicks in. And it's nowhere near, at, you know, the, the, the Jenny. It's just, like, very dim light. Yeah. All the electronics are off, TV's off, everything. It's just like, oh, that's it's a dead house now. No need for it to be alive. Nope. Oh. And then I think we start loading all of the, the medical supplies and the rations next. Okay. All right. How about these two? These, uh, the newbies, they coming with? Uh, they're going to hang out with us for a while. All right, watch your shit. Copy that. You too. Uh, we spotted a couple more up on the road. Uh, I don't know if they're coming this way. We tried to get them, but they got—they disappeared into the trees. If we run across them, we'll get them. All right. Uh, did you guys hear any groaning? Any loud? Any? Any large uh, moans? We heard something on our way in, but then it stopped. We. We did, and I recommend you just move along your way. Don't even investigate. All right, that's what we were doing. Then just wanted to make sure, or see if you knew what it was. We did not bother to take the time because it sounded big. Mm, right. All right. And the guy gets out like the uh, uh, assault rifle too, out of like the back seat. <laughs> we'll have the big guns. Yeah, for the for the trip home. Just in case. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. See you at base. Stay alive. See you soon. You too. Alright, cool. Alright. So, uh... Doc, you... mentioned before about burning this place down. You think we should still do that? Well... The the idea with burning the place down was is that it would give these two a um, a good cover as to why none of the things that they had were coming back. Uh, so that's kind of I'm, I'm going to kind of leave it up to them. It it covers a lot. It, it answers a lot of questions um, that might be asked when you get back, that you can just say something well, caught fire and the house burned down. For the most part, we were just kind of telling them we were going from house to house. They didn't know we were 
kind of squatting in oh. that one for so long. Oh, okay. okay. And as long as uh, Larry never figured out that beacon, then they never knew we were there at all. They just knew yeah. we were in this air, in this forest area. Do you still have the beacon? Echo? Uh, Echo does. So yeah, I mean, technically we could turn that on, leave it on Larry's body if we wanted, but... Well, uh, that would there'd be more questions about that. It might be easier for you just to. Uh, although I don't know if that's the kind of thing where you might need to, uh, you know, uh, call that in. Or... Um. Well, they didn't know about it, so I would say we leave it on Larry's body and let it remain dead. Yeah. Sounds that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. All right, yeah, I mean, I don't think we need to burn it. It's a nice place. It's always nice okay. to know where you have a safe haven. Fair enough. Good me. All right. Uh, it's up to you guys, I guess. Like I said, we were heading... We were making this big this big loop. But if you want to go back to what you guys were doing, we can help. So we want to... We want to look for this serum, or we want to go to the golf course. Isn't it? Oh, you guys are heading to the golf course. Yeah, have you guys been there? No, we heard uh, heard it was pretty pretty overrun. Uh, they they got all those uh, hoity-toity guys uh, out out on the out on the course, and they got all zombied up. And apparently, we never were able to corral them into that into the. Uh, the amusement park area, so pretty much every everyone that's out there is still out there. I don't know if there's any survivors, but I mean it's just a bunch of rich folk. Oh, like maybe, but I don't know. We haven't been out that way. Well, let's. Well, I, once again, I kind of lean towards if it is. If there is a serum out there, it kind of feels like we need to move more along the lines of that serum. To me, okay. from where I sit, that takes precedent. But. This this is just where Marsh told us to look. He said some some uh, uh, X or or a retired or some sort of AIE scientist he thinks lived out here and was doing experiments or something. So he said, go find, go find me my serum. This is kind of the, our last orders. All right, well. Might as well look. All right. Yeah. I don't know Let's if it's real, but hell, if, if it is, that's... That's something. Yeah. Search a little on our way. Where do we, uh... Can we see over like the what the where this is there another house down this way that yeah. we can see? Yes, yes, sorry. Um now that you've actually now nah, you it's road, it's it's clear you can see. Yeah. It's just since you were over here I didn't need to reveal much. Right, yeah, we, we don't really care about that that place. Now I'm really hoping that the layers are working and you can't see a certain thing. <laughs> 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 Let me know if you see an incomplete room, Ben. Because you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Alright, um... Reveal... more... there we go. Alright, do you see all that house now? Uh... On the left? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not where I was looking. Oh, okay. Yep. Is there an incomplete room that you see? Uh... I see, like... something right here. Yeah, like I can see a, a TV. Oh right, that's just because I drew the thing before I grabbed the house. Yeah. The house shell oh, did okay. not did not fully fit it. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Then the other then the layers are working. So this is pretty much, I think, your new view. Okay. So yeah, so there's some house here. All right. Well, so we got two houses down that way, and then these two ruined ones. And none of them have been checked. Nope. Yeah, I say Those we are kind of the only 
those are the only two other houses we, or the only other houses we see in the area, the immediate area. Yep. I say we bring them in, check the burnt ones, and then head for the big house since we know this little house has some kind of big dude through the window. Yeah. Better not to not mess with that if we don't need to. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably one of them. One of them, not the big fuckers, because I think big, big, strong fuckers. Yeah, that's what the. Yeah. <laughs> Do not fight up close. Can bring down buildings. Toss cars aside like nothing. Fire don't do shit. See, Massive just, damage to the head. That just make that down. just don't make sense. That just sounds made up. We we hear them fighting those things, but it can't. They can't be that tough. Well. It's uh, only one way to just, find out. Just keep it in mind and maybe not try and fight him today. All right. I think I could. Uh, I don't know about destroying houses, but I, I could believe a little tar car tossing. Yeah, man. there is some crazy it, things advanced, nowadays. Advanced uh, science and, and medicine. Yep. There's some crazy uh, shit. It, uh, even some street drugs can make you punch a car windshield through. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. Seen it. Yeah. 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 Seen it with my two eyes. Okay. Uh, you guys heading out? Yeah. So we're going to go like, like this sort of route. All right. I'm seeing Generally. it. I'm seeing it. I saw it. I followed Obviously, your. Followed your line. I like it. There's like zombies here. So yep. maybe we yeah. Yeah. We have to deal with that. But... Okay. Oh yeah. There's nothing in the uh, the treehouse. We cleared it out. Okay. Um, they uh, they they say I don't know if you want a slingshot, but that's all that was in there. Some crackers, cheese. It's probably Wait. not better than the slingshot that I have. Problem. Oh, you got one? Nice. <laughs> nope. They're like the exact same brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. Uh, Never heard say have another, though. Nope. Who's, uh... Who's your fearless leader? I mean, if you want to take charge, Laura, uh, it kind of seems like we're, we're taking the, the, back, the back burner here, though. Yeah, that's that's this is their show. We're we're here to help now, Bill. Well, then everyone, let's move out. Yeah, echoes the boss. All right. Well, just tell us what you need, then, boss. Let's stay close to the house oh. and try and flank this zombie. All right. So I think Echo steps out and starts starts leading the charge, I guess. Okay, I it could, uh, immediately notices you because I rolled a 19 on perception. Oh, oh God! You got them good perception rolls every now and then. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's already watched the house. Yep. <laughs> Doc, got your shovel. Uh, so, I got it. So it'd be initiative just because he's close enough. Immediately. Okay. Well, let's let's get rid of him. Uh huh. Just d20 flat, right? Trash. Yep, with your initiative bonus. Oh, that's right. Which is top top right of the page, I think. Should have done. I forgot to add it. Uh, okay. So that is plus. Oh yeah, these are high. X. These these are really high rolls usually. So, that's a twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-two. And then. Nine. You got 19, Jeb? No, that's that's oh. a nine. Oh, nine. nine. No way. Why do you keep going after zombies? How can you do this? <laughs> that's the first time that. Oh no, that, that was that, that was happened. Echo. That was Echo last time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it, it does go last anyway. It it, it got a seven. Ah, suck it. All right, but so. Zombie. Yep. Echo, Elegante, Jeb. And 
it. You just kind of see it. Would it? <laughs> would it be safe to say I already pulled out my sword or no? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you can okay. you, you can do that type of stuff leading into combat. Okay. Um. Especially when you know the situation is already like this. If it was like an ambush, then no. But. Well, yeah. But we knew this guy yeah. was out here. Right. That's what I mean. Um. Some distance for a sword? Like to throw it? No, 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 no. Like to be in range to use it. Oh, five feet. Like it has to be in your face. <laughs> okay. Yeah, adjacent. Yep. Basically, um, this, this is your sword range. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Oh, there's a little. Um, there's a little pointer thing. Uh, it's a ruler. Looks like a little mustache. I don't know where you get. You can like do this, and see where you can move to. And also, if you pick, oh. if you uh, if you pick up your your token and press Q, yep, you can get like a little measuring follower oh. arrow. So by pick no up, no shit. Yep, you grab it, hold it, hold like click hold. Yep. Grab your token, click hold. And then okay. start hitting Q where you want. Yeah, and then, and then you can press Q oh. again to make like a waypoint if you want to go in like a certain path. Yeah, I'll show you. So the zombie will pretty much do this. You know. Oh, cool. So on okay. each Q, that's where you get to mark a little spot. All right. Um. So I'm gonna say. I learned something today. That's nice. Oh yeah. So in the beginning, when you first log on to Roll Twenty, uh, they have a like tutorial video you can watch, and that kind of explains this stuff. Do they? Yeah. If you if but not for you or me anymore. We we clicked past yeah, that like, years ago. I think I made an account like. How long was it when did I make my Roll Twenty? Mine's like in two thousand fourteen. You had to be around there for me too. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just move 25 and chill on the road. Okay. You guys are up. Uh, Elegante, then Jeb. If you want to just kind of hang back and watch your work, or do what you do. Yeah, I am definitely. Uh, we'll say I'm gonna hold the neck. Okay. Then Jeb. You said you were going to hold action, sorry? Yeah, yes, oh, sir. Okay, wanted to make sure. I'm going to have uh, that hatchet and the knife out. I'm going to... Uh, I'll go right here. Okay. Just uh, just be ready. Okay. All right. It pretty much doesn't, doesn't really care that it's outnumbered. And goes right after the closer person. It comes up with intent of grabbing and biting and murder and then eating. You get an attack of approach as it as it gets on you. It's still no. very uh, viable zombie, strong, leathery, angry, bad <laughs> breath, rotting corpse. But not rotting, because like I said, for some reason these ones are not decaying. An eleven to hit? Ooh, nope. You uh, you you unleash your sword swing for a big whiffer. <laughs> as it uh, accidentally dodges because it just, <laughs> just staggers. Yup, it's hard to read this thing's movements. Uh, that was your attack of approach. comes in for a grapple that is an opposed might check so you just uh, roll a 20 with your might uh, bonus athletics oh might uh, it is athletics might is that it yep yeah. second okay. second skill on the list yeah mm -hmm. Tuna man. Right, come on. 
Oh, what'd about you get? I switched to real dice too. Oh, you did? Fucking A, no, I'm about oh. to. I heard it. Oh boy. So it comes in and you swing your sword. It puts you off balance. It reaches for your swinging arm and your other shoulder and grabs you, grabs you good. It's got you. And for some reason, these lanky arms are like death grips. Like they, once they lock in, it's like, holy shit, I am grabbed. And this is a fucking zombie. And panic starts to set in a little bit. And it is uh, Elegante. God. Uh, I will at this point. Uh, I will move up and attack the All zombie right. with my uh, with my shovel, whatever you want to call it. My <laughs> zombie, my zombie killing device. Your zombie implement. Yeah. Yep. All right. How do I stop everything? That is so. So I, you're gonna have to walk me through this one more time. Is it just a D twenty plus what? Anything? Plus your attack, plus the like the little plus two attack for that weapon. Uh, oh yeah. So, so in, in your box, on on your character sheet, there should be a spot yeah. for gun, melee, and like just attack section. So when you yeah. use your gun, you just kind of roll the twenty and add that number. Because I've kind of done oh. all the math already, or we did it when we made your character. Okay, perfect. So melee is just plus one. Yep. All right. I like. So we will come in here. We will do a D20. Plus one. Oh, once again, pulling an Elegante. Uh, yeah. I got his head. Sign Elegante's signature move. Yep. Yeah. You run in. Uh, you swing. Ah, shit. You shit yourself. Yeah. And then I step ten, and then I step back. <laughs> okay. And I'm done. Good try. So you get up in there, you see what's going on. You see this big nasty zombie is just all teeth and, and blood and nasty. And it's got a hold of Echo and you just get like, oh God, you gotta get in there and save her. And, oh fuck, it's too, it's too, it's too chaos and you miss. And then you just kind of panic and get the fuck out so Jeb can try. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, that, Jeb is up. All right. Um... Would I have any penalties for, for throwing stuff at the zombie right now since they're grappled? Uh, just a minus one. Okay. Unless no, you have no. that thing to ignore. Uh, no. Okay, yep. So it's just, okay, yeah. Uh, all right, yeah, it's still definitely better for me to throw stuff. <laughs> um, you are all a right, thrower. So, yeah, I'm going to throw the hatchet and then the knife probably right after that. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, it's a 23. Oh. That was pretty good. Yeah, well done. Uh, I guess I'll roll damage for that. Five damage from the hatchet to the head. All right. I guess technically that, I, I didn't count the, uh, the headshot penalty, so it was a 22. Yep, yeah, it's fine. Still, still hit all day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, assuming that that doesn't kill it, I'm gonna throw the dagger, uh, the knife as well. Yep, it's uh, it, it chops off a big chunk of bone and flesh and kind of goes off to the side, and the hatchet hits the hits the ground, and the zombie's angry. And uh, go. Oh, that wasn't great. <laughs> the Ooh. knife, not so good. So the knife goes whizzing past. All right. Uh, is is the is the hatchet like within yep. reach? Yep. Okay. In, in that case, I'll I'll kind of like move back and like scoop that up. And uh, let's see, I was right here. I'm gonna loop around to try and get in there. We'll help out Echo. Okay. But that, that's all my stuff. Uh, so, wow! Uh, Laura steps out and shoots. 
Big whiffer. Uh, bullet goes oh. whizzing past. Doesn't even get close. It must be a whole thing of just kind of like not used to shooting into grapple. Uh, yeah, it's kind of precarious. Yep. Uh, Bill comes out and let's see. Pardon me, Doc. <laughs> I think he's got the. I think he's got the. Uh, the. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, he busts out that shotgun that he had under the table. Motherfucker. Uh, he doesn't really want to go for the head because you know it's too close to you with a shotgun. So he unloads both barrels directly into the body, hoping he'll blast it off of you. I got this, don't worry! Hits it. Square in the chest. I'm glad, too, because if I would have gone for the head, he'd have missed. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Six damage. Let's see if it... Ah, it's not really enough to rock it, though. That's the problem. We'll see if it holds on. I think it's going to. Yeah, oh my god, did it ever. It does not care about bullets ripping through its torso. Oh, man. <laughs> like, fuck! Sorry! <laughs> uh, oh, are these one gun types? Oh, they are. Okay. You get... Alright. Like I said, he unloads both barrels. So he takes another shot. Because he can. He can use a fast action to do that. He's just like you. Hey. And he hits. Oh my god. These guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> Five damage. Two Terrible. shots consecutively to this bastard's bread basket. And you just see chunks of flesh and viscera go just fraying all over the ground. Uh, but still, he hangs on. Oh god. Uh, that, I believe does bring it to its turn? It, it grappled. Oh, it grappled. Yeah. I, I feel like Echo hasn't gone right. yet that since. Mm -hmm. That's what. Okay. Yeah, right. I was about to say. Yep, so Echo's turn. Uh, real quick, I gotta pee again. Okay. Right it's the start of the initiative. Yeah. Okay. So, would I be able to just attack it, or how do grapples work, do you know? I don't know if you can attack it with a sword, you might need to use a, like, a smaller one. Or your fist. Okay. Or try and escape the grapple, which is opposed to might. There. Okay. I went and pissed in the corner as fast as I could. Good to go. <laughs> 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 Alright, All so, so yeah, do I, I do to... I, I do think you're right. I think I forgot to go echo top of the round. Um, yeah. after the zombie okay. grabbed. So Yeah, so so we just skipped the Echo's turn. Right. Everybody so, else went. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else is right. I just forgot to have Echo respond to being grabbed on her turn. Yeah. You don't need a turn this round, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yes, um... there are small options. There, well, there's there's a few options to do when grappled by the zombie. Uh, they are. Uh. Okay, zombie melee combat. If grappled on your turn, you can do a might roll versus the zombies might roll to break out or take control of the grapple. That way you have it and it does not have you. Uh, or make a one-handed attack where it's your pistol or a knife or something that is one-handed. Uh, that is that is the options at the moment. It keeps changing as the situation changes. Uh, okay. As the situation gets worse, you mean? Yes. 
as this it, there, there's a there's a big cascade of what to do as the situation worsens. How is this zombie looking? Pretty dead. <laughs> okay. No. I mean, without really knowing what half health is, about half health. Fuck. Okay. Uh... I forgot. I did have a thing to. It's there's a check. I mean, first aid doesn't work, other than knowing how put together it still is. You know, okay. like James could be like, "Yep, that body's about to fall apart." That's a that's a dead body. Yep. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna go for an escape grapple. Okay. Yep, so, might roll versus zombie might roll. The pose roll. Okay. So straight d20? Yep, with your might bonus. Oh, that's right. Roll good. Oh, fingers crossed. You got your uh, your survivor die too, right? Right. You guys get... Can, uh, can you do that? Can you do add that before or after? After. Okay. Okay. Oh. Nice. There oh. you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, I... so you easily, not easily, but you feel that thing. It <laughs> wanted. It, it it was it was tough, but you beat it by a few a few numbers. So you you muscle out, you use your technique and your actual fucking training to get the fuck out of this stuff. Do some kind of quick quick reversal and bam you, you shove it off of you and you are out of death's grasp amazing um does that count as my attack or can i still attack that is a standard action so you can do you can't do your thing because you didn't do a shot so you can't use your right. fast action to shoot again all you can do is move at this point okay so yes that is your um, attack sorry Long at long answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take one step back then. Yep. And chill. Okay. So it's and pretty much gets thrown off and goes right back into lunging mode. Okay. That uh, was Echo. Everyone else did their thing. I mean, pretty much, I don't think much would have changed, right? You would have still thrown weapons at it. They would have still tried to shoot it. Yep. So, it now it goes, and it in its in its flailing of getting knocked off of you, it swings just a wild fist at Jeb. All right. That is a. Oh, there it is. 20 to hit. Okay, that will definitely hit. I, I want to use one. Oh, uh, 18, my, my 18, defense. sorry, 18 to okay. hit. Okay, either way, that definitely hits. Okay. Uh, I want to try and use my defensive maneuver to parry with the hatchet. Okay. Not so, yeah. super likely to succeed, but anyway, it's possible. You know, what the hell? Oh you my go. god. My <laughs> lord. <laughs> Just <laughs> enough. <laughs> you got him. If that would have been a nat twenty, I would have said you cut his hand off. But <laughs> well, it was it was a fourteen on the die. No, I know. Like I, like I said, it's like just for the hell of it because you were using a hatchet. Yep, just like. So yeah, he goes in, just rawr, tries to knock you down and get on top and start the chewing. But you're like, get that <laughs> cling, get that get out, out of here. here. You don't want none of that. <laughs> you deftly parry his wild flail, flail. Yeah. Uh, he's done. Uh, he pretty much is in your face, is all. Yep. So that brings it back to the top of the order, which is Echo. Okay, so he stays locked on Jeb? Yep. Alright, um... Uh, I guess I'll move in and go for a swing then. Okay. Uh, do do. Oh, 
was back. 18 to hit. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Big, big hitter. All right. So. Ten damage. Holy shit. Nice. Big damn. All right, so is that your sword? Yep. All right, so you, after being in the uh, grasp of a uh, grappling, biting death machine, you pretty much go into, all right, I'm going to fucking kill this thing. I've had enough. <laughs> and you, you, you bust out your sword. You, you, you go into a stance, and you fucking swipe this thing's mouth right and clean, right, right, right in half. The head flops off, and it just bleh. It just drops. Amazing. Oh, I gotta add that to my kill count, huh? Yep. So, uh, Bill was like, that's some pretty good killing right there. Got another <laughs> one coming over that way. Yeah, sorry, that's my fault. I didn't want to have to fire him off, but I didn't want you to get bit. I appreciate it. Uh, so we can we can call it here and uh, just kind of be in a little a little skirmish as we start next time. I know it's not. That sounds like a great idea. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I like sounds it. Good. Very well. Uh, the game. Very well done, you guys. Holy shit! I had no idea how how the three <laughs> schmucks in the basement were gonna were gonna go. That was a that was a whole situation. <laughs> it, it uh, was. The that we left off after I basically pointed a rifle at them, and then we like, uh, okay, guns down. <laughs> guns down. <laughs> let's let's talk. Yep. <laughs> that, that was absolutely beautiful role playing. Great, great in character yeah, stuff. Super fun. Yeah, I love good. it. Yeah. Great job. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you guys. Thing. Thank Dabba, you very if much. You make me cry. Oh, what's that? We're going to have words. I said, if you make me cry during this campaign, we're going to have words. Oh, I <laughs> probably <laughs> will. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to promise I won't. I've, this is just in these woods alone. There's four moral dilemmas. Oh, no. Gotta love moral dilemmas. <laughs> this is one of them. And, and wait, the was there is, a moral dilemma that I missed? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how you how you decided to deal with what you kept uncovering? Yeah, because that yeah, was the thing. Every every bit was just it kept going deeper. It's like, all right, we yep. made this decision. Cool, done. Oh fuck, we got another decision oh, to make. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Layers of dilemma. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah. It's it's been a month. There's been there's been stuff going on this island. It it, it, it happened quick. Yeah. So I, I definitely wanted to uh, make it not just simple zombie killing. Yeah. Oh, it's great. It. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Yeah, I'm super happy that you guys are enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get some dinner. Goodbye, everybody. Have fun. Yeah. Bye. Have a good night, unauthorized. Good night. Everyone, Bye. go go check out these beautiful streamers. Jojo, not Joey. Me, Ben, fifteen, unauthorized user. I'll uh, blast them out with some shoutouts and some links. Uh, but thank you, everybody. Thanks for being a part of this game. Thanks so Bye. much. Time. Have a good See you one. Later, guys. Bye.